This is a quick walk around of a CNC router made by Multicam Australia, which is now controlled by a Masso Touch controller. The router has a three phase 3.8 kilowatt spindle, which has a maximum speed of about 24,000 RPM. The bed size accommodates stock up to about 2.6 by 1.2 meters, with a maximum thickness of about 250 millimeters. The bed has a vacuum hold down clamping system and a standard T-track for manual clamping. Vacuum to the table is created by this three-phase vacuum pump, which is operated manually. The original control cabinet still houses the original power supply, which powers the Masso Touch, the original drivers, and the original stepper motors. An additional five volt power supply powers signal converters between the Masso and the original drivers. Over here in a separate cabinet is the original VFD, which is connected to the Masso controller, three-phase power, and the spindle. The machine uses ISO 30 tool holders and ER32 collets. It has an automatic tool changer, which holds up to six tools. Tools can also be easily changed manually. I bought this machine from a company who no longer processed 2.4 or 1.2 meter sheets and we're buying a larger machine to accommodate 3.6 metre sheets of stock instead. Although it has been a production machine in use for something like 20 years, it's still very good mechanically and has some great features. The problem with it though, was the original motion controller and other electronics were all driven by software that's pretty awful to use and a PC running Windows 98. The motion controller connects to the PC by a particular type of PCI card, which requires a very rare and now outdated motherboard in the PC. The PC started to fail, so upgrading the motion controller was the only option to keep the router in service. Multicam were very helpful talking through options, but their proposed solution was quite costly. I considered a UC CNC controller running UC CNC machine control software on a Windows 10 PC. I also looked at a Mesa motion controller running on Linux CNC. I then came across Masso. The Masso touch interface makes setting up a job to run so easy. Here are a few parts being cut. The first is a HDPE component for a machine we build at work. And the second is a Corian mould for moulded carbon fibre parts I build for fun. The Masso Touch was exactly what I was hoping for and is extremely good value for money. I can now see this machine producing parts for another 20 years at least.